This is Ripon docking site located in Ginger District. This place is adjacent to the Ginger Sailing Club. But apparently an issue that is raising eyebrows here is an unknown investor who has gone ahead to construct a wall within the lake. The locals here have no idea what is happening and we have tried to find out exactly what is taking place and why the investor has gone ahead to construct a wall in the ecosystems and the breeding areas for the fish. The National Fisheries Resources Research Institute, Nafiri, is a semi-autonomous agricultural research institute under the National Agricultural Research Organization, NARO. The organization based in Jinja has raised concern over the construction of this perimeter wall in fish breeding grounds. As far as we are concerned, that is an area that is supposed to be protected with this marginal vegetation which first of all, apart, apart from filtering all the water coming all, 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 all the way from the, the catchment into the lake, it also harbors a lot of aquatic organisms and also is an, a, a vital fish breeding area. The Nafiri Director of Research, Dr. Anton Tabo Munyaho, was shocked to learn that a wall was being constructed so close to the lake. He has petitioned the National Environment Management Authority on the matter. In the laws of Uganda, According to NEMA, it is protected because it is in the 200 meter buffer zone of the lake. Nobody is supposed to build any structure in such an area. We were surprised and as we talk now, I am also just trying to see whom I should contact to find out both at the district level and probably my colleagues from NEMA to see who is, who is behind this and what is it purpose live for. Sources told NTV that Karmic Foods Limited, a company which exports fish food and frozen fish, is behind the construction of the perimeter wall. A senior company official told NTV that the construction is being undertaken in conformity with the set environmental standards. So I'm not the owner. That, that land is for Karmic Foods Limited and there's a proposal of putting up a factory there. So I don't think you can claim that uh, it's uh, like a wetland like what you're saying. No, I don't think so. Because we are planning to put up a factory there and all our documentary and all, all our documents are in order. Ginger Resident District Commissioner Peter Ken Lochap says the district administration was not notified about the perimeter wall project near Lake Victoria. He said a directive would be issued soon to stop any further construction. You find everybody saying no, we have got permission from NEMA. How does NEMA go to the extent even of making sure that a lake is being claimed? Are we not really moving for a disaster in this, in, in, in this part of the country? Because to us, as per directive, we are going to stop each and every construction which is taking place on the lake unless NEMA avail us copies, of, copies regarding to that construction. Because the lake, otherwise the lake is away. When we spoke to officials from the National Environment Management Authority, we were informed that they are still reviewing the case file on the matter concerning the construction of the wall next to the lake. Inquiries into the matter are ongoing to check whether the fish company violated the terms of the permit while undertaking the construction. Sohel Mugabe, NTV.